Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and welcome to the FTOG Avant 3 server. And it's a big day, because I hit a thousand subscribers. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys, you are wonderful. I appreciate all the things that you've done. I appreciate your subscriptions, your, your comments, your likes, uh, all the good stuff that you do, you inspire me to do wonderful things. And, uh, you know, at least I hope you think it's wonderful. But uh, I do appreciate uh, the comments that you've made and for getting me to this milestone. It's been a blast getting here. And I also want to do a call out to all the people on the FTOG server. These guys are wonderfully neat and fun to play with. And you should check the description down below and subscribe to each of them. Watch their videos, pound that like button. These guys are great, and you should enjoy watching their videos as much as I do. So, uh, when's the thousand subscriber special? Yeah, I don't know. I have to work with Mrs. the Duck Farmer, and maybe in a day or two or three. It uh, depends on how we can get things going on that. But anyway, behind me, you can see I got the fire marine station set up. Let's spin around here. Yep, I went ahead and got uh, the Ender IO farming station set up. Uh, I'm using the chest up above to drop in some hose in here, and then it does its thing, and then it's got power running down through here over there, and then uh, item conduits to my large storage crate so that we can have all sorts of stuff in here. And oh, I just realized I hadn't looked over on this side. Ah, very interesting. Anyway, so I've been uh, doing some farming. That's from a, a previous run. Anyway, uh, that's not exactly what I want to do today, but uh, that's that's some interesting stuff. Uh, something that's very interesting, I'm going to break this. I didn't mean to break that, but uh, the farming station chunk loads. It does. And since I really don't need this chunk loaded right now, I've, I don't have any hose in there, it doesn't matter. So I'm breaking that so it's not doing its thing. Instead, what I've been doing is over here, you can see I have a bunch of Z-Logic controllers and I have enough bits for two more. I just don't have any zombie uh, heads to, to do that. And I've been using that here in the slice and splice because I want to make Ender IO. Uh, no, that's not what I want. It is an Ender IO powered spawners. I want to go ahead and make some of these powered spawners, and that requires a skull of some sort and uh, the machine chassis, but it needs these Z Logic controllers and. I'm going to need 15 of these because I'm working on the mob farm. Here, let's uh, put things back. So let's snag these guys. Come over here and dump them in. All right, so I, I have some skulls. Skulls. Okay, I've got some wither skulls. I do not want the wither skulls to be doing this. Uh, Enderman. I also don't want the Enderman to be doing it. Let's try head. Heads? No, I've got some witches there. So, skull. Do I only have skeleton skulls? Well, that's just fine. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I am missing these, the vibrant crystals. Alrighty, I don't have enough of those nuggets, but alloy... I do have a bunch of this, so let's go ahead and... I'm going to be needing... Uh, let's do ten for right now. There it is. That's a bunch. That's good. Back to here. Doot. Let's make several of these. Six is good. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and one, two... Will they stack? They will stack! Yay! Okay, I'll make three. And let's see... Souls. Uh, which no... Yes, I do want a zombie. A uh, wither skeleton enderman. I do want an enderman. And beyond that, I mean, yeah, yeah um, uh, let's let's do blaze. So let's go ahead and do those. So, uh, you know, now to use these soul vials, I need a broken spawner, some uh, soul binder, and some uh, XP, and that will give me a uh, a spawner for that specific type. And then that broken spawner 
if I, hey, I'm clicking on you, I should be able to take the broken spawner and combine that in an anvil with the powered spawner. So I've got, if I count this up right, I've got 15 broken spawners of different types. Ooh, zombie, I don't think I actually need to do that one because I already have it. So what I am missing, iron. I don't have any, am I really that low on iron? Holy cow. Okay, I need four of those because I need an anvil. No wait, I only need three. Doo -doo -doo. All right, because I need anvil. Come to me, anvil. Anvil, you are going to be right there. Okay, so if I am thinking right, one of the powered spawners plus a zombie will give me a zombie control. See, this one's empty, and that will give me a zombie powered spawner. So let's go ahead and get me, uh, I need 16 levels. So let's go ahead, powered spawner, zombie, there we go. Uh, I do want that, and then I also want any broken spawner plus, oh no, no, this is in the slice and splice. Do, 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 do. Slice and splice, oh, uh, no, 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 soul binder, soul binder. I'm gonna take uh, Enderman, because people are saying they want pearls, and I'm gonna need six levels for that. Those things, those things, those things. Well, too many, boop, boop, there. And so let's go ahead and do that. And that will spit me off the bits when it's all said and done. Are you doing anything? Oh, two percent. Okay, that's gonna take a while while that's doing that. And, uh, oh, it's moving. Oh, that's cool. I've not seen that before. It's rotating around. Oh, okay, that's slick. All right. All right, so while that's doing that thing, I'm going to zip over. Actually, let's sleep for the people, and I will head over to the base. You can see the TPS is doing very nicely, which is great. And all right, so let's head over to spawn. And there we go, catching up. All right, so this is the tower we're going to have all the spawners in. Oh, yeah, I, I kind of built a little pathway to kind of connect to the, the main spawn area. Um, uh, creep a hole, so I need to fill that in. But uh, I, I, it needs some railings and something, and I'm not sure what. Uh, the other thing I did, and it's really hard to see. Let me come in really close. I took, and every so often, I put in just a regular basalt rather than the brick, just to kind of break up the look. And I can see that when I'm close, but uh, it, it does break it up and soften it a little bit. I, as much as I like this dark black, I wish it had a darker gray than like the regular cobblestone, uh, because I think that would be, that would be nice. Uh, anyway, up here, this is going to be the, the column of spawners, and I've got 16 of the, uh, the cobble here. And I have a zombie spawner. So I was thinking the very tip top one can be Enderman because they have the most hit points and when they fall down and the floor is going to be like uh, three or four below this bottom one. Um, still not 100% sure exactly where that's going to be, but at least three or four below that. The bottom most one is going to be Blazes because they settle down so very slowly and then possibly ducks right above that because again they float down very slowly uh, everything else can go wherever and so let's uh, actually put zombies here and I'm gonna go ahead and drop that right there and it's gonna start but I'm gonna set this to active with signal because I don't want it Ooh, show range oh that's new I like that Uh oh is there a... Okay, perfect. This is a corner one. It, it's not going to hit that one. That's blocking it, but uh, everything else is perfect. So, it looks like it will go one down and two above. Okay. 
perfect, perfect. That that's fine. That's new. I don't recall seeing that before, but that that's very very nice. Uh, but what's going to happen is I'm going to spawn these zombies and manually kill them to see if I can get some some skulls to do the other two, and then I'm going to have to set up a floor here. And I was thinking of doing what was it? Dark, dark. It is uh, the the Dark Utilities mod has this vector plate. So uh, what we want, vector, vector plate. So these can be used to move the mods, the mods, the mobs around. So it's not all that hard to make, just some, some stone of some sort, sugar, and some sort of slime ball. Cool. And then what I want to do is turn these into yellow, because green, I think is okay, but yellow, yeah, I should be able to combine nine of them into yellow. How does this... And then the red goes into green. So you can just cycle them through, uh, which which is pretty slick. Can I do one by one? Yes, I can cycle one by one into the next color. Uh, green, I think, is the slowest speed, then comes yellow, and then comes red. And red is just blazingly fast, and green is okay, but yellow, I'm thinking, is the, the one I want to do. So... I need to go ahead and lay a floor in here and some sort of killing zone where they'll drop down to and then for killing them automatically uh, again dark do, 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 do. nope 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 not this one it's the spiked plate where does that come from evil craft evil craft does the spike plate so I can sit there and take a just an iron plate I'm gonna make some more iron because I'm out of iron uh, and these spikes just a dark gem with with an iron ingot that'll give me plenty of these in fact I'm gonna need six so six times three I'm gonna need at least two batches of this but uh, that's okay uh, it's pretty darn cheap and these actually act like player killers and it will drop experience but that's what I'm gonna use for the main killing of, of all these these mobs but uh, now we need to go ahead and do that and one other thing let's come flying up to the top come on up 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 okay uh, the other thing I think I will do is take this solar array and I may drop it down so it's here on this surface instead of up above uh, just because you know why do I need the extra distance I don't I, I really don't so I'm gonna go ahead and move that down too so I've got the Enderman up there and here's the zombie and there's the blaze spawners in place and I've got lights around because in my testing and creative it, lights didn't seem to have any difference with these powered spawners which is nice and I threw down some of these these uh i keep forgetting vector plates that's what it is vector plates here's the green one and it's like a walk see i'm just it's just slowly pushing me along but what's really nice about these is if you crouch you can walk and stand still but as soon as you get up they, they move you so that's the green and i go eh, green here's the yellow it's like a, a fast run which is pretty good and then here's the red and this is what's just crazy <laughs> it just threw me into the wall so fast and actually tossed me these you know because I came off here and I was going fast enough to just throw me so uh, yeah uh, no not gonna do the red red is just too crazy but I will go ahead and and uh, do yellows here I think yellows will work out just fine and uh, I also went ahead and got this floor in place and I'm got a uh, two by three shaft for all the, 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 the baddies to fall down. There, let's go ahead and turn these into greens and then those into yellows. Poof. All right, so I will go ahead and finish this up real quick. Uh, let's see, well, a uh, little bit higher, a little bit higher. And then I think we'll just move all these guys. You know, I think this would be better if they moved over one more just so they get dumped in a little bit easier. Hey, slime. And then I've got my little escape hatch right there. All right, so over, 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 over. And now, get 
Get out of the way, you. And it's slightly bigger than what they actually will spawn, but that's okay. And the thing that I didn't realize, and I'm happy, oh wait, how's, oh, that's because there's six there and that seventh one there. So uh, when I was making this, I thought I needed to make uh, 62 plus, uh, so it was a stack and a half. So I thought I needed to um, have lots and lots of resources, but nope, turns out they make eight at a time. So that is very, very handy. So, uh, I can put in here the spiked plates. Let's go ahead and do that for right now. And then I will turn on the zombies. Hey, up, up. You are zombies. Let's go ahead and... You are active without signal, so you should start doing your thing. Here, let's pull up high. And the idea is back here. I've got power going, as well as the insulated redstone uh, conduits and that way I can have signals sent up and you can see the columns go all the way up there here's the redstone conduit going back down and I'll when I have it all set up there we go zombies and oh blazes no blazes no 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 blazes are not supposed to be spawning Why are you spawning? Now I'm at fire. Ouch, I may actually die from this. This fire is one of those things that will kill me. <laughs> the armor does great otherwise. Here, let's get down here. Whew. Good. <laughs> That's just crazy. All right, so now they will take damage and die. So hurry up, take damage, die. <laughs> uh, that was unexpected. So these plates, the spiked plates, are really nice in killing off the mobs, which is uh, fantastic, and got a blaze powder from them, but I'm not sure if that dropped off because they were just running around, which they do, or if it actually spawned anything. So let's go back up. You are set to active with signal. You are set to active with signal. Why did you start spawning? because there was no signal on you. Hmm. I don't know. It's, uh, you're active without signal. Let's go back down here. Uh, these torches, I've got five torches here, five torches here, and five over here. I'm gonna put levers in the ground, and you can see the cable running behind here. I'm gonna run that down and under so that I can just flip switches on and off to spawn the various things up there. There, there's our guys. Hello. Are you gonna give me any heads? Nope. Uh, got a few things there, so let's break these off. And that way I can just uh, spend some time here chopping them, and that should give me some some skulls off of them. I also need to uh, put a chiseled something, a strip right along here, to prevent uh, any of the the one high mobs, like the the, the chicken jockeys and whatnot, from coming through. Because that would uh, kind of ruin my whole day. Anybody's day who's just sitting here and uh, AFK. All right, got my second and third skull for the zombie heads from them, and I, I tried it with these plates. I'm gonna stick those back on right now. I tried it with there for quite a few and didn't get any zombie heads. And uh, as soon as I used my sword, taking those away, then yes, I got my second and third really quick. So, I was also wondering why on earth I was getting the blazes to appear and some endermen. And then it occurred to me, this conduit right here was active against this plate. So when somebody was standing on the plate, it was sending a signal. So while there was a zombie sitting there long enough, occasionally a signal would be going up and spawning a blaze and Enderman. So those work too. Uh, occasionally though, it looks like the Enderman kind of teleport out, which is not so helpful. Stinking Enderman.
Anyway, oh, dragon died. Uh, let's head back to base, because I need to build the other two bits. And then I can slowly put those in place. Alright, what do we got here? We have all sorts of slimy dirt. <laughs> Come here, slimy dirts. I wonder if there's any up. I'm going up. Nope, none up. So let's go down. Quiet. Any down in here? <laughs> Somebody decided to go ahead and slimy dirt my base. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and clear this out for a bit. <laughs> oh, hey. There's a book that's not normal. Alright, let's uh, see what we got here. No, gimme. Book, 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 book. It's a lot of green slimy bits. Uh, book. Oh, congrats on making a thousand uh, subscribers. Yep, to show you how awesome you are, you bought you some awesome green slime dirt. Yay! <laughs> blue slime dirt. Yes, I did lots of blue slime dirt <laughs> in the Affinity server. Much better green slime dirt. Yay! Who's it from? Link! <laughs> cool. Uh, so congrats on that. So, yay! Thank you, Link! <laughs> So, yeah, I, this entire area was full of uh, the green slime dirt. And there's more green slime dirt out here, too. And also, back in here, uh, I'm kind of curious. Did he put it any further down? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> there's one right here. Uh, one right there. And there. And there. <laughs> and there and there. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a lot of slime dirt. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> I, I don't think you probably went too much further, but... <laughs> okay, that's very funny. Thanks, Link. Now we've got slime dirt. So I have some work done here. I've got uh, a bunch of the spawners at place there, down there. Five left to do. Uh, four of the animals. Let's see, that's the uh, cow, duck, pig, sheep and slime, although I also have a magma uh, slime too. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm going, mm, I don't know if I can do slimes here because I've got a two by three and they can be three by three. So unless I run the conduit into the wall and then maybe uh, make the bottom one some plates to, to chop them up, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway, if we come on down, down, uh, I've got here the, the, the drop shaft, got the, the, the pressure plates in place with the spikes, and then I also have here these uh, levers that go up and power each individual uh, piece, and it works. It works really nicely. There they go. And it produces a decent amount of XP. There's a vacuum chest underneath this plate and that sucks it up, moves it over here into this drawer controller which shoves the stuff around here and then I've got some other stuff over here too for, for other bits. Oh, you guys are noisy. Go away. Hush. Quiet you. Uh, they were teleporting out and then sometimes coming back and then just kind of hanging around and that was just really obnoxious. And then Toddy suggested that what I needed was this, the Ender Tether by Dark Utilities. And that right there keeps them from teleporting away. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. And so yeah, I'm each one of these I'm setting up. Uh, the situation kind of goes like this. Let's take one of these and you can see the where the conduits have been running through and I slap that there this I do not want to receive anything from there so I disable it uh, but the thing that I can't do here if I put a conduit facade on here and then slap on you can go away slap on a lever and then we take a look you can see this conduit, the, 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 the interface is set to red and I want to change that. So typically I would just right click that, 
but it's seen the facade and not the the Redneck controller underneath. And I've tried that with my wrench from actual Ender I.O. No, no, it's it's not working. So the the way I've been able to get this to work, let's break that, is to slap down here my Sterling generator. And now I can come in here and say, aha, now I can access this. And let's see, um, what am I going to do here? Creeper? Creeper. So that is cyan. So that's the color we need. All right, so now this can get the conduit facade in place. And let's put the alabaster right there. And then let's put the sign on top of that. Creeper. And then it's a whole lot easier to do this on the other side, but one. One, two, three, four, five, and one at you. Nope. There we go. So that points to the creeper. Let's break this off and put the lever in place. And that should give me some creepers uh, eventually. Uh, I do need to put down some capacitors in each one of those uh, powered s spawners up there so that they're a little bit faster in spawning than what we currently have but it should work there they go and they all come in and they die and that should dump the gunpowder into here this side is going to be more of the common things and then this side is the the more rare and I need to go through and lock these up. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do some filtering for the stupid stone swords and armor that the, the various mobs drop off. But it's it's working pretty nicely. The one thing that, that bites me, it, some of these things, blaze rods, the, uh, the, the, the heads, they only come if I come up here and I kill them rather than hitting this with the, 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 the plate. Because even though it says it uh, damages them and damages them as if they were player kills. Eh, not all player kills are created equal. But anyway, I need to, to keep pushing it around. There's going to be 15 of these levers all the way around, and then I need to let them grind through and get all their drops, and then I need a separate chest maybe right here for overflow stuff, and then something that will just take these stone swords and crap things that we don't care about and just toss them away. And it is done! I had a change of heart and decided to completely change the storage because I figured there's going to be so much random crap coming out of this. I said, no, I don't want to have to deal with individual drawers for each of the things. Is it? No, no, don't want to do it. No. And I also changed this. I, I was going to have them go up higher, you know, so it'd be three on this side, two on that side. And I said, uh, no. So over here we got the slimes and the, the duck, cow, pig, and sheep, zombie, pigmen, skeletons, witches, endermen, wither skeletons, blazes, creepers, zombie spiders, and magma cubes. Now, the magma cubes and the slimes are somewhat problematic. Here, let's sneak up. And I'm going to leave this little entrance way just because they're kind of annoying. Uh, some of the things like the the slime and uh, let's see who else the slime and the magma cube will will drop down and if they're the teeny tiny guys they die and there's this weird blood splat that appears and it's a solid block and that's really annoying so uh, I, I've had to come up here and break them and I think I'm gonna move the uh, the 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 slime down yeah one more and put the the blazes up above just so that the the slimes don't die as much. Uh, I put these plates down here to kill off the the slimes if they're really big and I think I'm gonna have to take this one out and replace it with a full block instead of a uh, one of those facades with the conduit running in it because you can't put a spike plate on a facade. But the, that helps kill them off. And yeah, there's a few things that hang up here, but it's all free stuff, and, and that works out well. So, and uh, the greens, I put the greens in here because I noticed some of the, the, the ducks were just flying over and hitting the spike plates, and I'd rather have them fall down. So I said, oh, let's just kind of slow them down a little bit. And that seems to be working great. It's not 100% yet. And one other thing that's, that's an issue, the wither skeletons and the blazes. 
the blazes do not drop blaze rods, and the wither skeletons do not drop the their skulls unless you kill them. So if you're on the server and you want to do blaze rods or, or the, the skulls, then what you need to do is remove these spiked plates here and then spawn whichever you want and then just stand here and just whackety whack and kill them and you'll, you'll get the stuff you need. And then this here is the storage cube. That's what I swapped out all the, the drawers because, ugh. So we got 20,000 items in here. It does mean coming in here every so often and, and breaking out some of the, these crap things and uh, turning them into you know other stuff or or like leather boots we don't need the leather boots so we've got a little uh, trash can over here we can just trash anything that's garbage but otherwise then you can just come here and spawn whatever you need uh, let's say we'll we'll do a bunch of witches because you know yay uh, we should have some potions in here yeah here's some potions of healing so here they drop down and uh, there we go. And it's, actually, it's a pretty darn decent place to get experience. Uh, let's see, what else could we summon at the same time? Oh, a, Enderman is always useful to have. And, you know, I'm trying to think of what else would be good. Oh, maybe you want uh, a whole bunch of, of meat going on. Oh, it's also really helpful if you turn off your magnet. Poor cows. And uh, the stuff just comes flying on in here. So there's some some beef, which works out very nicely. Yep, more beef just came in, more leather. So definitely a, a good way of uh, getting this to go. And resources. All right, they're noisy. Let's turn them off. Die. <laughs> So, we, we have a functional uh, mob farm up here. We've got a, a decent amount of storage down here, plus the, the, the crafting that needs to, to go on. And if you're wanting to make your own stuff, chunks, uh, there are some chunks here for the various types. Oh, cow chunk, that's new. And some chicken chunks. But, uh, yep, yep, I think we've got things going very nicely here. Yeah. Ooh, magnet on. There we go. Well, yeah, a fully functioning tower of death and loot. Alrighty, so people on the server can come in here and do a little AFK if they want and, and make lots of experience. They can also sit there and, and grab whatever's in the, the storage there for right now, or they can feed it full of extra new stuff. Uh, I just ask that if you've got lots of random crap in there, the, the armors and weapons and stuff, go ahead and give them a toss into the trash because eh, who wants those? Unless you do. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad this tower is up and running. This has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG Avant 3 server. Having a blast. Thanks for watching. Bye.